Hi everyone, welcome to the OAG RC. Um, it's time for a uh, unbagging video. Um, I don't think I've seen an unbagging RC video uh, before, um, but uh, that's what exactly what I'm gonna do here. So my latest build or my next build is um, a Tamiya, um, but it's one that I've kind of assembled as I've gone along, it's not a kit that I've bought, uh, but it is essentially a kit that I've bought from somebody, um, but it didn't have a body, so I had a body from someone else, and then the bits missing, and I managed to source those, and I kind of like cobbled it together as I've gone along. It sounds more complicated than it really is. Um, but let me get the contents of the bag out on the table, and then I'll show you what it is that I'm doing. So, I'm sure those eagle eye viewers at home will be able to work out uh, exactly what kit this is out on the bench by looking at the various parts. Yes, it is a Thunder Dragon. So this kit was actually, with the exception of that, that's a high torque servo saver that's crept in there somehow. Can't remember why I put that there, but we'll work that out in a minute. So this kit was purchased from Andy Robinson RC. Shout out to Andy. Thank you, Andy. Um, Andy had built or used um, the Thundershot body. So this is actually a Thundershot kit. He'd used a Thundershot body um, and he'd used the tyres and the wheels for a run. So the wheels have had a bit of use. Um, but he was looking to get rid of this. He didn't need it anymore. So he moved the kit on to me. Um, and I already had the Thunder Dragon body set, which I was going to put onto my Terra Scorcher. Yes, I have a Terra Scorcher. Um, because I really wanted to do a Thunder Dragon, and I'll come on to why in a minute. Um, but I thought to myself, do you know what, actually, I could use the Thunder Dragon on the top, uh, the Thunder Shot body set, or, or chassis set rather, um, and save my Terra Scorcher to be a Terra Scorcher, and then I've got a Terra Scorcher and a Thunder Dragon. It was too good an opportunity not to do. And he did level with me and said to me, the only thing that's missing, obviously, is no body, is there is one of the spur gears missing out of here. Um, so forewarned is forearmed, and I went on to eBay, and I got myself another set of gears. So that is sorted. Um, and then, unlike the um, Terra Scorcher, this one needs some bearings. So we've got some bearings as well. Uh, so the only thing that was missing that I have for my Terra Scorcher is a bracket for the A5 piece that often breaks. So I've gone with that to go on the front to reinforce it. Um, We'll see if that works. If it doesn't, I do have another one coming as well. Um, so I think we've got everything there we need to build this kit. Now, if I was, you know, really smart, I'd do one of those, boom, and it all just does itself, but I'm not. So I'm going to build it nice and slow. <laughs> um, and we're going to piece it together bit by bit. I'll do a couple of steps. I'll do a build video uh, because I enjoy doing build videos. I've just realised you've got this nasty thing here. On the shot, so I apologise about that. Um, and I'm going to build it up. Now, what is going to be special about this particular Thunder Dragon? So I do have the Thunder Dragon body kit and decals. Let me just... Uh, there you go. Zoom back in a bit. That's better. Got rid of that horrible thing that was in the way. Now, while I do have the body shell and the decals, um, what I've decided to do is to do a X-Wing version of the Thunder Dragon because it's the closest thing that we have to a cockpit. And what I'm going to do is make an attempt to stick a pilot and an R2 unit in the back of it somewhere and turn it into sort of an X-Wing. Um, I might make a complete mess of this. And if I do, I apologise in advance. And then, if it is a mess, um, we'll stick some Thunder Dragon decals on it and it'll look like a messy Thunder Dragon. Um, but 
I thought it would look really cool to go against that um, Rising Fighter, um, TIE Fighter edition that I did with the, the X-Wing pilot, sorry, the TIE Fighter pilot in. I thought we'd just get a generic, I tried to get a Luke Skywalker one, but to get a one-tenth Luke Skywalker, you're paying like almost the same price that I paid for the entire kit again. Uh, and I'm not into that, especially when this guy's probably going to get hacked in half with a hacksaw. Um, the R2 unit's going to sit sort of somewhere at the back of this. I haven't quite worked it out yet, um, but I'm going to try and mount him back here somewhere. And then I probably only need the driver's head on top of the body set. Um, so we'll work out exactly how it all goes together. But I thought if I do it up with some, some I don't know, red stripes down the side of it or something like that, it'll look a little bit like uh, an X-Wing, maybe. Hey, it's going to be fun anyway. Whatever happens, happens. And I'm not overly precious about it because it's about having fun. And that's what my hobby is for me. It's about enjoying myself. And if it all goes horribly wrong, we smile, we laugh, and we move forward as is always the way of the OAG. I'll see. Right, there you go. RC unbagging done. Thanks ever so much for watching, and I'll see you all soon on the OAG RC. Bye now.